the Executive Secretary of Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Samsina Wingabet, has called on government to review its directive of withdrawing foreign exchange support for some selected imported items. Banks were directed by the Bank of Ghana not to provide foreign exchange to persons for the import of rice, poultry, vegetable oil, toothpicks, pasta, fruit juice, bottled water, ceramic towels, and other non-critical goods. The governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, has disproved claims that this withdrawal of foreign exchange support for some selected imported items will put pressure on the black market. The withdrawal of foreign exchange support, people saying that we would rather have the opposite effect by putting more pressure on the black market. We do not agree with that assessment. I think the most important objective for us uh, in terms of the Forex support is because of the fact that we need to conserve foreign exchange due to the current conditions. It's important that until the economy settles and uh, normalizes with the rate at which we are losing uh, reserves needed to be managed. But the Executive Secretary of Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Samson Awingobet, says the decision will compel importers to pass on extra costs to consumers if they have to find their own forex. Ban me total importation. I will go back to the black market, get the forex at a high rate, come back and go and import my goods, and I will have to pass the cost to the final consumer. Are we sophisticating the importer or are you trying to sophisticate the, the consumer? He has further made some proposals to government to review the directive. I some of my advice have been that, well, let's look at the numbers of food availability, especially those communities that the uh, government want to cut down. If it is rice, at what per metric tons that the, the local producers are having in stock? Is it 400,000 metric tons or is it 500,000 metric tons? Okay, let's issue directive to Bank of Ghana to only support for the difference per metric ton that we want them to bring. Not more than if they assuming the rice importer are bringing 800,000 metric tons. The local producers is having 500,000. Okay. We can support only for the 300,000 metric tons importation to come to the country to support what we are having. All right. But to completely say I'm withdrawing, that is going to be a danger ahead of us. The directive took effect on Thursday, November 17, 2022.